Musashi's philosophy begins with the idea of no attachment to outcomes. He believed that being unstoppable meant not clinging to victory or fearing defeat. This detachment allowed him to remain calm and centered in the face of uncertainty, focused only on the present moment. When we let go of our need for control and instead stay fully aware of what's in front of us, we become unshakable, like a warrior with no fear of what lies ahead. One of his core teachings was, think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. Musashi understood that ego is often our greatest enemy. To be truly unstoppable, we must move beyond the limitations of self-doubt, pride, or insecurity. Instead, we focus on the bigger picture, what we can contribute to the world and how we can master our skills in service of something greater than ourselves. This mindset gives us the resilience to overcome any obstacle. Musashi also emphasized the importance of constant learning. He was not only a master swordsman, but also a painter, philosopher, and strategist. His approach was simple. Mastery is never finished. To be unstoppable is to continuously evolve, to stay curious, and to seek improvement in all areas of life. Musashi knew that stagnation breeds weakness, while growth creates strength. We must strive to expand our knowledge, skills, and awareness every day. His famous work, The Book of Five Rings, also teaches us about adaptability. Musashi was undefeated in over 60 duels, not because he relied on a single technique, but because he could adjust to any situation. He taught that we should approach life like water, fluid and adaptable, able to take any shape or form depending on what the moment requires. Being unstoppable means being flexible, not rigid, responding to challenges with creativity, not fear. Perhaps the most powerful aspect of Musashi's philosophy is his belief in self-discipline. He once said, the way is in training. For Musashi, mastery of the sword was not just about technique, but about mastering the mind. It's through daily practice, both physically and mentally, that we cultivate the resilience to face any challenge. Discipline is what makes us unstoppable. It's the ability to push through discomfort, doubt, and fear to keep going no matter what. Finally, Musashi believed in embracing solitude. He spent years alone, honing his skills, reflecting, and learning to trust himself. Being unstoppable requires knowing yourself deeply, trusting your instincts, and being comfortable walking your own path, even if it's different from the rest. In Musashi's life, we see a man who was not just a warrior, but a philosopher, a seeker of truth. His philosophy on being unstoppable is not about overpowering others, but about mastering oneself. It's about letting go of attachment, embracing lifelong learning, adapting to change, and cultivating an unbreakable discipline. The path to being unstoppable, as Musashi teaches us, is within each of us. It's about living with purpose, staying committed to our growth, and facing life with unwavering strength.